Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy okay so this is an, a very romantic energy i'm seeing someone here who's coming towards you with uh romantic intentions this person is making it known that they have romantic intentions this person can even be uh quite charming in their speech i'm seeing someone who is quite a sweet talker with this energy um, this person is expressing a desire to be romantic with you to start something with you um, there is a, a romantic offer coming from this person so this person could be offering to take you out or um, you know some sort of romantic gesture or even just them expressing their feelings towards you this person is um, you know very emotionally open right now and they are wearing their heart on their sleeve so I'm seeing someone here coming towards you quite emotionally openly Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Virgo. Okay, so the first card we have is the Six of Cups, Water Energy. Next we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And finally we have the King of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so with the Six of Cups showing here, up here, it does look like this could be a past person, someone returning to you with that Six of Cups, someone who's feeling quite nostalgic, somebody who misses you, somebody who has a, a soft spot, a sweet spot for you. This person is trying to reignite something with you, quite romantic. This person sees the potential of this Ten of Pentacles with you. Um, this person, I do see them viewing you as someone who they would like to grow old together with, someone that they would like to have this legacy with, someone that they could have a spiritual and a practical and a romantic emotional connection with um, they are seeing you as someone that um, you know they want to be in a long-term relationship with they want to commit um, this person I am seeing them um, you know this this could be someone who you've known for a long time or they are trying to establish something that will last a very long time with you okay so this person I do see them having um, you know genuine intentions they want a romantic committed relationship with you um, this person is uh, you know reminiscent also of the past I do see them coming towards you and they may talk about the past talk about what happened in the past there's even a desire to um, to to work on things from the past it's like this person wants to um, move forward with you but they also want to address something that happened in the past and I do see them um, feeling having fond memories of you this person they they still you know they still have the same fire and passion that they had towards you when you first met so this person is still um you know longing for you still very in love with you and they, they they really do see themselves settling down with you this is someone who wants something long term with you um i do see also with the six of cups they may view you as someone who is you know somewhat of a soulmate someone who is very significant someone who is it's like you guys is bond or your connection is very special and um you know it's it's like a once in a lifetime thing it, it can't be replicated it's just you guys there's something special about this and um they see this as the only connect connection that they, that is worth investing in because they are wanting to really invest with that ten of pentacles i'm seeing someone here who you know is willing to give everything for this um they want something you know something real something solid and with the king of swords again this person wants 
things to be official with you. Um, this this is not someone who wants to settle for just being friends. This person wants something that is romantic, something that is you know official with a title, with you know um, some boundaries. They want they want everything to be understood. You know they they, they don't want any gray area. This person wants things to be defined. They want to have open, honest, transparent communication with you. They want to keep it real with you. And um, I do see this person expressing their intentions with you very honestly. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of pentacles and this is earth energy okay so with this energy i do see somebody who wants to nurture this connection this person is willing to put in a lot of hard work and time and efforts to make sure that this is something that is built on a firm foundation they want to really build things from the roots this person is very ready to put in that effort i'm seeing someone who's very dedicated to this um they, they they've invest they're willing to invest a lot into this they've got a lot riding on this they are already all in this person they they're in that state of mind where it's like they're willing to give to this this is not someone who's going to be lazy about this whatever it takes to make this work they want this ten of pentacles with you okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say virgo okay so the first card we have is the sun Okay, so Leo energy, so you could be dealing with Leo. Next, we have the Three of Pentacles, and finally, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there is an energy here that this person is hopeful that you guys can work together towards this Ten of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is looking to be in partnership with you. They want to collaborate with you. They want you guys to come together to build something, you know, something solid, something that'll last a long time. So I'm seeing this person even seeing you as, you know, someone that they, they could even marry. There is with this Three of um, Pentacles and this king of swords there's a lot of official energy they want something official and they want something committed something you know something long term so they could be viewing you as marriage material as well and um i do see they are they're quite optimistic about this this person they see this as you know a situation or a connection that really brings them joy um they see this as something that you know could be mutually beneficial to both of you um this person they also are wanting to be very open with you there is a very pure energy around this person and their intentions with the six of cups and the sun card this is definitely someone who is showing up as you know genuine this person is not um they're not trying to deceive you this is somebody who is open they're laying everything out there they, they're with being very honest because this person believes in you know making sure that things are rooted they they want to build things on a firm foundation so they they are valuing uh, open honest transparent communication with you so this is someone who will keep it real with you i also do see someone who wants to have fun with you they are also wanting to romance you um this person is there's just such a pure energy in their intentions so this person is very optimistic very hopeful with this wheel of fortune card i do also see this as you know divine um protection this is also showing a sense that you know this is a safe person i feel like this person is somebody who is honest somebody who is you know they're genuinely making this offer because they do want this ten of pentacles with you there is no uh hidden intentions or deceits there's something very safe about them um so i do see this person is coming towards you with honest um intentions and um they are wanting to um you know make things official to in get enter into this committed long-term relationship with you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you virgo
Okay, so the card says, prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Okay, so this person is ready. They've planted these seeds. They do see you guys being a prosperous couple. This With this Ten of Pentacles and this prosperity, I'm seeing someone who, this person could be well off. They could be abundant, financially abundant, secure. Uh, there's something very stable about their energy, but there's also the sense of them having ambitions. Um, and having ambitions for the relationship to this person could be wanting you guys to be united in a power couple. Um, this person could even um, want to work on something with you. This could be the type of couple that works together and achieves something together. And it's like there's that power couple energy. Um, so something about you guys, you know, being together, it's you guys are a force to be reckoned with. And there is the sense of you guys achieving prosperity. Um, there is material abundance here. There is spiritual abundance as well so i do see somebody who is having a lot of goals and aspirations for this connection so this person is thinking of the emotional the the communication side as well as the practical material side of things so this is somebody who is very invested here i do see that they this this is someone who is going to give a lot to the connection they are already very invested okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um virgo Okay, so the card says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so this person is optimistic about this. I'm seeing someone who is willing to give to this. They, they have faith in this connection. They believe that this is a romance that can really blossom into this ten of pentacles, which is really, you know, the complete package, the happily ever after. This is fulfillment in all areas. So this person is very ambitious in their thinking and I do see them being very optimistic about this. They're putting themselves out there to, um, you know, create this love with you. So this person, I'm seeing someone who's very optimistic about this connection and, um, you know, as a result, they are willing to invest a lot into this connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says, Iris, rainbows and messages. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Okay, so this person is definitely with this rainbows and messages energy. I'm seeing them um, wanting to be in communication with you. Um, and when they do open up these communications with you, this is someone who will be very optimistic, someone who will be... Um, Focusing a lot on the bright side of things, focusing on the positives. Um, this person definitely sees a future with you, and I do see them, you know, contributing to towards bringing a source of positivity in your life. This is someone who, um, you know, when it, when they think about this connection, they feel excited, they feel energized, they feel optimistic and hopeful. So I do see this person, um, you know, really focusing on. The, the positive aspects and the potentials here. So definitely this person is really um, believing in this connection a lot. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.